Just hanging out at the camp today, and one thing I wanted to try was to make a little camp chair. The biggest thing to get out of this video, guys, is I've never done this. I can pretend that I have a million times and, and pass it on, but uh, my integrity is too important to me. But my point is one of the best ways, at least for me, to learn is to come out here and actually do it. If you succeed, great. If you fail, great, because there's still lessons to be learned. So let's go ahead and hit this and see how it turns out. Here's my plan with this. Gonna take these three, I'm gonna create a tripod and lash them together. We're going to cut a notch out of these tops and then I'm going to uh, bring some paracord through those to create kind of a, a framework. And then we'll take that paracord and use that framework of paracord to wrap it. That'll make sense in a minute. Let's take a look and see how this thing turns out. Now that I've got the tripod assembled, I'm just gonna cut the ends so I can make a little slip for the uh, paracord to fall into on each one of these. So now that I've got that done, what I'm gonna do is wrap the paracord hopefully I have enough what I'll do is I'll just take it and wrap it around like this so now what I've created is something to tie the other paracord that's going to go back and forth and actually form what I can sit on where I'm going to start with this guys is just a simple clove hitch now I've got a knot section for this so I'm not going to go over it if you want to know how to tie the clove hitch just reference that section. Now I'll wrap it up and through. Like I said guys, I am experimenting so we'll see how this works. We'll try that, and then we'll just do another uh, clove hitch. To end it. You can see there kind of how I've notched it. Again, guys, this is a learning experience. We'll see how this works. Next, we've got to form this. How I'm going to do that, I don't know yet. So we'll just kind of make that up as we go. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start another clove hitch just to anchor it to uh, one of these posts. And then from there, we'll start wrapping it over these. I'm done. And I actually, I'm surprised at how comfortable this thing is. The funny thing is, and I'll roll in some beef footage of this, but I abandoned the normal way that I was going to wrap the paracord around it. And honestly, I just ended up making it look like a crazy spider web, not an organized one. And I just, I had no method to the madness just th to uh, create enough layers that I could actually sit on. And to be honest with you, it's really quite comfortable. So it works. And again, guys, remember, get out and try this stuff. You learn something every time. The last thing I am gonna do to these though are the, the bottoms of the tripod legs. I'm gonna sharpen those just a bit during the winter like this and the snow is kind of mushy right now, the legs actually stick into the snow quite well. But come summertime when I need it to stick in the dirt, I want those, instead of being blunt, to be a bit sharp. Thanks much for watching, guys. Remember, get out there, try this stuff, learn from your successes, learn from your failures. Thanks much. We'll see you.